Cold War is based on gender. A new study says women who are freezing at work can blame the guys. The decades-long formula for choosing the air temperature is based solely on men's needs. Our Dr. Tara Narula is with us. Tara, good morning. Good morning, Nora. Not only is it based on men's needs, <laughs> it's based on a formula from 40 years yes. ago. That's right. It's based on a formula from the 1960s that was developed to help us set office building temperatures. And it includes things like air temperature, humidity, what clothing we're wearing. But one of the factors it includes is our metabolic rate and that metabolic rate in the formula is based on a 40 year old man who weighs 154 pounds not okay. oh, so he's you. a little so, man too <laughs> yeah so yes. okay so, so that was the that was the 1960s and now right. half of the workplace is is female that's exactly right and why so, hasn't it changed well that's yeah. a good question and so you know that's one of the yes. things that this study raises that maybe we should be more sensitive to women's needs and that of course this, we should so where do we go from here this this formula actually potentially uh, overestimates a woman's metabolic rate by about 35 percent women are smaller they have more body fat less muscle mass so they have lower metabolic rates it's also not sensitive to people who are older, who may have slower metabolic rates, or people who are, you know, thinner or leaner. So, so what role does the body fat play here, if you're so, overweight or if you're... So basically metabolic rate is, is affected by age, sex, and also body surface area, so height, weight, and muscle mass. Muscle mass is really the big player. So the more muscle mass you have, the higher your metabolic rate. Mm. Let's make this specific. <laughs> yes, Charlie. Uh, lots of people in this studio are cool, <laughs> and it's too cold for them. And it's true also in other television studios, but especially here. Mm -hmm. We try to find out why is that true. We cannot find out why it's true. You we can't. would like to find some man somewhere in some little <laughs> office, and we could go to that office yeah. and, we have and been change things. For and beat him out a long time. Who's been doing it? Yeah. And we don't and know Charlie, who that little man the is. The interesting thing We're is, on her side, her side. Yeah. We we do. Men's this is side. not male versus female yeah. in our studio. Exactly. Yeah. The men yeah. are on the same side as the women in this so, studio. Yeah. yeah. That it's too cold, but. Tara said, look, I ain't got nothing to do with that. I know. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I'm you a doctor. You had no dog in this height. <laughs> All I can say is I'm always freezing as well in my office. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So I have why, been known. So why, why don't so you do something air, about it? You're a doctor. I know, but I'm not in control of the thermostat. That's the problem. And so, you know, women like well, who is in control of the thermostat in your the office? The little man. The little man in your office? <laughs> the little man. And women then, like it 77 degrees. Men usually like it 72 degrees. That's okay. a big spread. Now, now the sure researchers have also pointed out that this does have to do with clothing, too. As you see, Charlie has on a long sleeve shirt yes. and a jacket gail and i are wearing sleeveless outfits and then there's the so-called cleavage effect oh, what is yes. that well the cleavage has many effects <laughs> maybe somebody else at this you table tell, might be better me. able to answer that question charlie <laughs> so the researchers in this particular case are talking about the fact that the cleavage so is closer to our ahead. core which is the warmest part of our body okay. and so when you are exposed to colder air temperatures you may be more sensitive mm -hmm. there because it's a big change as soon as we talk about cleavage, John Peck says, we got to go. <laughs> <laughs> cleavage, it's a good thing. Thank you very much, well, Dr. Can I, I just think that in this era of budget cuts and also people concerned about climate change right. and the use of energy, that somebody's got to look at this. Well, that's one of the things the researchers bring up, is that by warming it up, we can actually decrease CO2 emissions uh -huh. You've had the last save energy. Word. Little really man in the office, we're coming for you. <laughs> we really have to go.